hello, hello. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I've been waiting to open this in front of you guys. I have a huge P. Louise, um, just haul. It's, there's, I got so many items on sale recently and I got so many items. I thought they had, you know, a singular big box. I don't know if they just ran out that day or if I really did just order that many boxes because it looks like they gave it to me in two separate boxes. So this is how it came packaged. Um, let's cut this down because I have two huge boxes in here. I ordered, oh, I went a little crazy. I, it was definitely a um, treat yourself moment because I did spend a good quite amount of money on this. I love how what these boxes are. Look how pretty. Look at this pink box. Oh, it's so pretty. I love how pretty it is. It's so nice. Here's the second box and the boxes are exactly the same. That's such a pretty box. So I ended up going on the P. Louise website because there was like a 50% off sale going on. And I went, I really went for those bundles. <laughs> I ended up paying $184 and then the shipping was $28. So the boxes that these two boxes you're looking at was a total of $212 USD because P. Louise is a UK brand. So this costs a pretty penny. Let's see how I can get this opened. So it looks like I pull on this tab right here. Oh, wow, okay. This is the first box. Let's see what's in this one. <laughs> oh my goodness, I got so many items in here. Oh my goodness, my little doggies over here. Hey, Bobby, what are you doing? Bless you. Okay, what's in this box? This I can tell immediately. I think I know what this is. This is a big one. This would be the P. Louise A Droplet of Magic palette. This just came out um, last October. So this came out October of last year. This is really big. Let's see if we can get another light in here and it might help. All right, I got my little light here. Seems to add kind of a really cool effect. But you see how pretty this is. Oh my God, it's huge. It really is like a book. It's so big. Let's see if we can get this open. That, just pull it out of this box. It's freaking thick. Which P. Louise palettes are famous, famously thick and big and very bulky. Perhaps not the best. So it's got this like little, a little lock here. It's a little lock, but it comes with a key. So I guess you have to use the key to open up this lock. Let's see if I can open this. <gasps> I did it! Oh, okay, that's so cute. So I've opened it. Should be able to take this off. Key stays attached on that. Um, I don't think I need mine closed. So I'm just gonna put that back in like that. So this does feel like a faux leather piece that's on there. And let's see the story I decided to get. Eee! Look at that. So it's got this little, little plastic in here. Flip that over. Oh, I love that. I decided on this one because there were two palettes that came out um, of October last year. And I chose this one mostly for this side. Um, I said before, I really love like teal mint colors. And then also there's this little section here. Any makeup at this point that is like black, white, gray related, I always just refer back to Jeffree Star's cremated palette because that's all I can think of. That palette is so iconic. I can't really think of any other palette that was as big as Jeffree's cremated palette that has all these different shades of grays and silvers and blacks and there's just so many tones in here. But this is the one that I chose to get. And there's, if you did not know, there is a reason why this is so big. And that's because the other side also opens up into more colors. So this whole book, so cute. So on this side, we're looking at a lot of purples and reds which I think really matches the grays on the other side. <gasps> Ooh, I love that. So they're nice and bright. I have tried P. Louise formula before. I know I haven't done a review on my channel. Um, I tried those P. Louise palettes before I ever really started on this hobby channel. But overall, my experience with P. Louise um, eyeshadows is, I think they're pretty standard. I don't think they're the worst of the eyeshadows. I don't think they're the best I've ever tried. I think a lot of them, the cost of P. Louise palettes is the fact that, like, oh, that's not good, <laughs> is that the packaging is so nice. 
I think it has a lot to do with the packaging versus the actual product. But I think it makes it worth it because you get how many different ways can you do a palette, you know? But if you have it in this kind of style, it's like, well, that's not something I've seen before. So you're more willing to, you know, buy the palette. So this is the first one. That's just the first thing. So I already have basically, in a way you could say, I have one palette on one side and a palette on the other. Now that was the first thing that I got. Um, it doesn't look like, did it? Let's see. So I think it's actually giving me the numbers that I paid. So I think I purchased this one on sale for $37 so pretty this is so cute i love again the price comes from the aesthetic versus the actual product what should we try next <laughs> i think some of this stuff's out of luck okay well let's look at these these must be what are these a shadow palette okay this must be the trio let's pull up and see what that trio is called so i got y'all not gonna believe this this is why i, st I know you're initial reaction might be like girl you spent almost 200 freaking dollars on makeup yes i did but listen <laughs> this i believe these are three blush palettes i think these are the blusher bundle that i ordered i got these three blush palettes for 26 dollars that i don't know y'all that's worth it to me let's see this one your darkest days yeah it seems like this appears to be the blush palettes that i ordered and i were i got all three because I was like, why not? So we see, oh, they're so pretty. They're so girly. They're very feminine, very princess. It's giving princess fantasy. Let's open up this first one. So I wonder if there's different names for it. Oh, there are. So there's Love Lane, Secret Garden, and Destiny's Door. So let's start with a Secret Garden. And oh, I can't wait to try these. I have literally never cared for blush, but I don't know why recently. I'm like, I love a blush. Oh my god, it opens in the middle. It opens from the middle. There's a mirror on the side. Oh, this is a lot. Okay, this is a lot more tinier and dainty than I thought this was going to be. But this is the first. This is Destiny's Door. And it looks like the first top six are creams and the bottom six are powders. So that's what really sold me on this. And let's see if there's a smell. Um, there's not any particular like fresh scent or anything, but it just kind of, you know, smells like product. And I hope it's capturing the shade colors. It's not focusing. Let's get out here. See my camera over there. But this is overall, I think the theme for this one. I think this is the palette that has the darker pinks. Because from what I remember, there's one palette that has lighter pinks, darker pinks, and then an orange palette which I'm for sure know that's a secret one so I think this one might be the darker pink version we'll compare them I'll, I'll open them all up at the end so we can see them all together so this is the secret garden this is the one that I was originally going to get I was going to get just this one I don't know why I've kind of been obsessed with orange blush so ooh, I love this and I think it's because orange blush is so close to yellow <laughs> I love yellow but these are the orange blushes. Let me see if I turn another light on, if that will help. Because I would love for you guys to get as much, you know, of a rendition of what these colors actually look like. Right, I've got some more light in here. Hopefully you can see how beautiful. This one's my favorite. Oh, I love... I'm so excited. I've just started using cream shades with the Ofra palette. That, um, if you watched my Ofra video that I did recently for a collection that came out for Valentine's Day, there was a cream shade in one of the little like face palettes that I bought and I have been loving it. I did not expect to love cream blush as much as I thought it did. Um, and I think it might have to do with the fact that I'm using the correct like brush I should be using. I have the right rule tools, I mean. So yeah, this one definitely, you can definitely tell. This is the like the Barbie pink. You got a lot of light shades. This is probably the best palette for maybe someone who's looking for a really big pop of color or maybe someone who's uh, possibly lighter skinned you can see why they had to do a lighter pink and more like uh, deeper pinks but I had to get this one because I realized that this shade is kind of really close to the over shade that I have so pretty but let's I'm gonna put them all together for y'all 
All right, so here you have all three palettes. This was the P. Louise C Color in Your Darkest Days Blusher Bundle. And like I said, I got all three of these palettes for $26. $26. You're looking at 12 blushes, 36 blushes for $26. That's less than a dollar per blush. Um, it's definitely a lot smaller. I, th I honestly thought I was gonna get like these huge blush palettes. I'm kind of glad I didn't. I thought they were gonna be like, like book sized, but um, they're, they're actually a lot smaller which is good and it really helps me be able to have all these colors without worrying too much. I would think that maybe the blushes on top might possibly fit. I, I, guess it's, I guess it depends on what you're looking for. When I look at it overall, I think that maybe these shades might look better on someone who's lighter skin, but at the same time when I look at this top row right here, I'm like, but they're so bright. And then I look at the shades over here I'm like, maybe this would fit someone's skin tone who's more medium to deep. But then I look at the tones down here, I'm like, but these look so light. So I, um, now that I see all of them together, I kind of feel like regardless of your skin tone, if you want the palette, I feel like it should work. Because I have, I'm looking at the oranges over here. You can see here, right? Like you got some more deeper oranges. But when you look at the top and down along, I'm like, these shades would also work well someone who's light to medium or medium to deep. And I feel like you can see that in every palette where I'm like, I think like deep, medium, um, light, and then same over here. We I think these shades up here would look very well on medium to deep, and the shades over here would work well for light to medium. So I think now that I'm actually looking at it and really thinking about it, every each one of these palettes could fit any tone. I just think it depends on, do you want more of a simple, kind of more muted, or more like bright and intense? And then of course we have the oranges. But I think, oh, these look so beautiful. I'm really excited to pull these out and start working with these. But this is this is the blush section. These are gorgeous. What do y'all think? Which one do you think would fit you? All right, so we got some smaller palettes here, but I know based off the bundles that the remainder of them must be in here. So I know that was part of one. This is part of another one. So let's open up the second box and see what we have left in here. Open that up. Yes! Okay, so this one goes over here, and then these go over here. So, because that's five of them, <laughs> let's move these to the side. So I have, I got two of these stack em up palettes. They look like, obviously like little money bundles, but I, I've had these before, and I feel really dumb because I've had these before, and I got them for free with um, another big palette I had bought. I think it was like, all I see are money signs. Is maybe what the palette was called it's it was their almost entirely green palette it was very cool and it came with these came with that palette for free but i thought at the time that i didn't want them because i was like well why would i want smaller palettes when i have this huge one which by the way there is a mirror in there so i didn't think i wanted the smaller palettes but now that i've actually tried the formula and i thought it was a pretty decent formula i'm kind of like oh, should i have tried those palettes before i gave them away because i did give them away to um, a friend for free just because I was like I think you might like these a lot more than I will and now here we are again having now purchased both of these again I bought them both this is the orange version you will always catch me buying orange green yellow palettes I feel like overall if you looked at what I review most on my channel those are the shades of colors you'll usually see over and over again um, like I said I think the P. Louise formula is decent I don't think it's the best formula. I don't think it's the worst formula. I think what you end up buying is really the aesthetic. If you like this aesthetic, then I definitely would recommend. So when I bought these, they were $11 each because I believe they retail for $22 each. But, um, I mean, so these are the stack them up. This is the best in yourself, babe. Healthy is wealth. And take the risk or lose the chance back yourself. Looking at those two. Now we're looking at another bundle. Um, I ended up getting this bundle because I thought maybe it would be, let's see, how much? So I got five palettes for $38. <laughs> and originally, y'all know I do my, my quest for yellow series. So let's try and open this one up if I can get it to open. So this is the P. Louise Give, you give me butterflies palettes. This one is in Buttercup Blossom. And like I said, if you look through my videos, you know I love yellow. I love yellow. I think it's a beautiful. This so looks like there's a mirror in there. And oh, this is so pretty. 
Oh, look at the butterfly stamps. This is so gorgeous. I'm so excited to use this. Um, when I'm looking at it, it looks like almost like these three yellows on the bottom are the same. This one definitely is giving a little bit more of a marigold color. This one looks a lot lighter and this one's giving a little bit more mustard. And then we have the golds on top, which I wonder how those are gonna work. These two look a little more similar. This one I feel looks more almost silver, but I think this one looks more of like a deeper gold. This is a lot of a brighter white, but it looks very pretty. But let's pull these all out because as you can see, there's a blue version, a purple version, a pink version, and a green version. We can open up all of these up at the same time and see what they all look like. Alright, I've taken them all out of the box. This is the blue version. This one is called Sparkle Spells. I really am loving these four shades up here. It's really giving Y2K. Just like, I honest to god, I had like an eyeshadow in this shade right here. But this is, I love this. This is so pretty. The, they look so shiny. I like the amount of different blues that we're looking at here. This one's called Lavender Storm. So this one might show a bit more of maybe like that denim shade I always talk about. So, and more of an indigo. So that's very interesting. That's the blue version. The next one up top that we have right here, this purple version, is called Moonlit Meadow. And I, again, it's giving this the Y2K fantasy, just these shades that I remember using in the 2000s all the way up here. And I, again, love the different shades of purple that we're looking at right here. We have these three darker shades right here, which will definitely darken up a look. Um, I've said this before and I'll say it again, I love when the shimmer eyeshadows are lighter because that's just the way that I do my eyeshadow I always work from lightest to darkest so looking at this I immediately it's, it's just instinct I feel like you know exactly where everything should go in a palette like this so this is the purple version next on up we will bring up this kind of pinky version right here so this is what I thought was the pink version this one is called totally toadstool and I thought this was gonna be a lot more pink, but as we can see here, it's a definitely much hotter pinks. Um, these last three shades over here are more orange. I think this one kind of looks like a pink purple wine, not pink, but like it's, it's one of those colors where I think that it might look one way and then another day it might look another way. <laughs> Um, it has some very interesting, you have this one that looks like a duochrome because it looks like it's a pink base with gold shimmer. This one's completely different. We got some yellows, some pinks, some wine looking color in there, some white in there. That one's completely different to the other ones that we've seen so far. But this looks like a really bright and intense look. Um, I think the blue and the purple palette we just saw are giving very spring. This is giving hot summer because these are very intense shades. And then we have this last one up here. This last one up here is called Woodland Widow and oh, I love this sagey green mint color. It's screaming spring. It's such a gorgeous palette. Look at those shades. Oh, this is so pretty. I think overall, these are also gorge. Um, let me pull out that yellow one again, just so we can see the whole collection sitting next to each other. As you can see here, this is all five of the palettes that are included in this bundle. Um, again, I believe I got this bundle for $38. It was on sale for $38, so it's about $7 a palette. That's not too bad. This is freaking gorgeous. They look so travel friendly. I'm so excited to try these out. All right, but we're not done yet. I still ordered a couple more things, so let's just get these out of the way. I ordered two of these P. Louise brushes. This is the same brush. It's 7072 because I just felt like I needed more of these kind of concealer brushes that are flat that I think are really great for shimmers. That's what I usually use them for. I really like to use these for my shimmer shades. I have one other P. Louise brush and it's just, it's my favorite brush to apply shimmers with. It's one of my best brushes. I really love the P. Louise brush. So I got these for $6 each and if it was 50% off that means that this brush usually goes for $12 each. But I'm really happy. They're just really cute. I think they're good quality. I personally really like my P. Louise brush and I'm excited to use these new ones. And I got myself some um, eyelashes because these are half lashes. Are they all half lashes? No. It looks like only one of them is a half lash and it's called my other half. I've never worn a half lash before, so that's going to be fun. I picked the lashes that weren't super big because I don't really have very large or rounded eyes. So I think these would fit better for my eyes, which are, I think, a lot more almond shaped. And also I'm 30 now, so my eyes are just, they're just not that big as they used to be. 
Um, this is from the Michaela collection that just came out in December. Surprisingly, this was also on sale. So it makes me kind of wonder how, you know, how well that collection did in the first place. I remember there were a lot of issues during Black Friday. For whatever reason, if you went on the US website, this was the only option to buy. So that was dumb as hell. But I got these um, lashes, I got three lashes for $10, which would mean these usually sell for 20 And the packaging's cute. Um, it's got like... I don't know, just a little story or something. It doesn't come with glue, it looks like. So it's just the lashes. I've never tried P. Louise lashes before, but we'll see how these are. I do have a Michaela palette from Glamlight, and it was they were, it was decent. So we'll see how these lashes do. Right, we're finally to the last item and all the stuff that I bought. This is one of their, I guess, monthly subscription boxes, and I think this came out in November. Possibly November, maybe October. No, I think October was the box that came with that that magic droplet book. So th I think this was November. So it would have been for my birthday. And I just really loved the items that I saw in here because I really love yellow. <laughs> and on the website, it looks yellow. We'll see if it actually is. So it looks like they actually did. Let's see if we can open this up. Okay, we can't peel it. Well, I don't really, I don't want to get rid of that. Let's see if I can peel it up this way. Oh, I don't want to mess up the box. I guess we'll have to peel this. I'm so sad. I wanted to keep the wording. He says the only love triangle I want. <laughs> Oh, I really wanted to keep this box intact. It's cute little. If you can guess what's in here, maybe it's a pizza palette. But anyways, I got this box. This is called the P. Louise A Pizza My Heart Makeup Box. This box was $40. Um, I think, I don't remember if this one was on sale or not, but we got, let's see, some lashes, some full lashes, and then a half lash. Perfect duo for those babes who want the best of both worlds. Half and half. So we got some more lashes in this box. Uh, we have this is sauce on the side. Oh, it was a moisturizer. I didn't know this was a moisturizer. I thought this was like um, some setting spray, but it looks like it is a moisturizer. Oh, that's so interesting. I didn't know this is what this was. Okay. And then we have <gasps> we have brushes. Babe, you're a cut above the rest. Cut, carve, and create. Oh my God, it's magnetic. It's magnetic. Oh, that's adorable. See, this is why. This is how you know that you're actually paying for. <laughs> Not necessarily the product itself, but... Oh, that's such an interesting brush. I've never seen a brush cut like that. It looks like they're taped here on the bottom. So maybe let's get rid of this. So we got three brushes. I've never seen a brush like this. Wow, this must be for lining. Let's look at that cut. Okay, this is my favorite kind of brush to use. It's numbered C2. Okay, then we have a little one. Cut above the brush... Oh, come on. Cut above the rest brush set. So interesting. It kind of looks like, I don't know, it reminds me of a doorknob. We've got some brushes. Magnetic. Wow. Okay, that's that's really nice. That is some quality. And then the last item in here is a pizza slice. And I have a Glamlight pizza slice as well. I have not tried it out yet. Um, but let's see what this pizza slice is like in person. It looks like there's some tape at the tip here. So look out for that. Whoa. This is not how I thought it would open. That's so interesting. So it's the car unit card in. It's not that I thought it would open. And here is our pizza slice. There is a mirror in there. Ooh, okay, they are yellows. <gasps> we love a yellow. Get some oranges, some browns, a big shade right here, which is probably more of a highlighter than it is um, a shimmer. But look at that. Let's take this off so maybe there's less of a glare. This palette is mainly why I wanted to get this box. I just really love yellows. Yellows are my favorite color. I love gold. This is such a fun little palette. This is so fun. I would have loved to have gotten this if I had the monthly subscription thing. And it seems like, I don't think it's, is it magnetic? I don't know if it's magnetic or not. It just folds nicely. And there you have it. That is the last item I got. All right, thank you so much if you watched this huge unboxing um, P. Louise Hall. Do you think all this stuff is worth it? I mean, go check out the website. Go see how much this stuff is at right now, because I feel like I got a really big deal. I got three blush palettes. I got five smaller palettes in a bundle. This was a bundle. This was a bundle. This was in a box. Um, I got two brushes. I got three eyelashes separately from ones in those box. I got this huge palette over here, which in itself has one palette on one side and another palette on the other side. You guys, I got so much, but 
do keep in mind, all this stuff comes from the UK. It did come from overseas. That's why I was like, if we're gonna buy something overseas and they're gonna try and charge me, what was it, almost $30 for shipping and handling, then I'm gonna go big. Because I feel at this point, there's nothing on the website I want anymore. I got everything I wanted off the website and at 50% off. I'm so happy with what I have here. This is so awesome. Let me know down below what your favorite item is. But other than that, y'all have a great day.